Hi everyone, this is just going to be a short video because I'm not feeling too well today. Um, I wanted to show you something that I've done with the Meerkat API. Now if you don't know Meerkat, or sorry Meerkat, it's an application which lets you live stream from your phone or your tablet to everyone else in the world. So right now this is a live stream that's being sent out to anyone who happens to be connected and that is exactly zero people. But you know, you can build up a user base and you can become quite popular. So, whatever you broadcast, people can go in and they can type messages to you, like, uh, you know, let's say you're hula hooping, they can say, wow, you're really good at that, blah, blah, blah. Now, the problem that I've noticed is that when people are actually doing this, especially if they've got the camera facing them like this, and they're doing weights, or they're doing something, they have to keep going like this to read the messages, because obviously they're quite small on the screen, so everyone's like, mm, what's that? So I thought, well, how about using the Meerkat API, which was launched just a few days ago, to have the comments automatically read out. So, you know, what you're doing, you can just put your phone down and you don't have to worry. So, I've got my laptop here, which is connected to the Meerkat API, and let's go ahead and send a test message. Hello, world. So, you can see that there. And if I send that... Hello, world. See, hello world. So if you had a busy chat room with everyone sending messages, um, you know, it could work. You just put in the message there, and all your messages will be read out. So anyway, this is just early stages, um, testing the idea. Obviously, if you had a really full chat room, it could get a bit much with all these messages being read out. So you might have to put some kind of limitation on it. You'd probably want to strip out um, cuss words and things like that, but for now, it works. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. For the more technically minded people out there who want to see how this works, it's actually very simple. Um, I'm actually cheating a bit and I'm not using their official API. I tried using their official API and polling and getting the comments and storing them in a database, but the problem is that when you use the official API, you can only get all comments, so every time you poll, you get all the comments, which is so wasteful and bandwidth, and it just wastes so much time. So I'm actually using their JavaScript uh, comment stream, which they use on the official uh, Meerkat website. So this is just a basic HTML page, nothing fancy at all, it's, it's a bit messy, but you know, this is just something I've thrown together as an example. Um, and then all the work is basically done by JavaScript. Uh, what happens is we're polling the comments URL, which is this. Um, we poll that every, well basically, no faster than every two seconds. We could do it quicker, but on the official site, they poll it around every two seconds. So I've copied that. We put a timestamp on the end. It's not required. I just put it there so that every time you get a unique URL, um, which is similar to what they're doing. I'm not sure if they're using a timestamp. I can't remember. So anyway, it grabs the comment um, stream, and this URL only gives you fresh comments since you last polled. So if you poll and you get 10 comments, and then you poll again, when two more people commented, that doesn't mean you'll get 12 comments, you'll actually just get those two new comments, which is great, because you're not wasting any bandwidth. So we poll, and then as soon as the poll finishes, whether it was a success or a failure, we wait two seconds and then run it again. So anyway, with the data, uh, we also um, poll this uh, URL here, which basically grabs some information about the um, stream. For instance, who's streaming it, is it still active, etc. Now, I found that if you just poll the comment stream, sooner or later you get timed out and you won't get comments anymore. But polling the broadcast status seemed to help that. Um, so anyway, the data from the comments comes up here and we just basically break it up. We break it up into individual comments. Then we go through and we use a regular expression to find the... Um, the member name and the message, the comment, and then we just put it onto our HTML page and we put it here and we put it here. Um, and then we do a post to say.php, which is just uber basic. You can see all we're doing is executing. Uh, Sorry, basically, we're running the say command on the command line, which is built into Mac. Um, so you can just do hello world. You see? So that's literally all this is doing. Um, so it's so basic. Anyway, um, this is kind of the Meerkat API, but kind of not, because I did try and use the API, and you know, I logged all the information, and it does work, but it's just not 
efficient it's just not an efficient way of doing it um, so you know the API's only been out for five days so I know they're going to improve it but yeah I just thought for anyone who's technically minded you might want to see this so uh, yeah thanks